Hey Budget Fam, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. Today we are going to be unstuffing our September wallet. It is October 5th, so we are a bit late. <laughs> I have had an ear infection, I've been working on taxes, and there is more drama and news from the landlord. So if you are interested in watching me unstuff my September wallet, seeing how much money is in here, starting to set up our October wallet, while we chat about all the things happening in life, please stick around. Go ahead and subscribe if you are not already a part of the budget fam. We would love to have you. Please go ahead and like this video. It is free and it does help this channel grow. I would appreciate that. Thank you so much. Let's move into unstuffing our September money and chatting about what we're saving for in October. So just as a reminder, both of these designs are in my Etsy shop as printables. Our November design should be launched soon and that one will be a printable as well as I will physically ship some. So if, if you are interested in purchasing a physical copy of the November wallet when it comes out, please let me know in the comments that you are gonna be interested. I'm just trying to gauge the interest for these kinds of things and like what you guys are wanting. But anywho, let's, let's move into unstuffing September. I did already pull rent because like I said, I'm filming this way later than I intended to I wanted to do this last weekend but I did go ahead and unstuff rents because that had to be paid we do have some money here in bills I do pay $200 in bills in this little studio apartment and I do have $410 that needs to get paid towards the car so sorry this video is coming out late guys I have had an earache for a few days now it is just allergies I've gone to the doctor everything there's really nothing I can do we're kind of waiting it out and I'm starting to feel better today so that's sort of why I one of the reasons I kind of fell off the planet uh, $30 for health care I actually already had <laughs> this appointment so I just need to put this money in the bank to kind of pay myself or my credit card back for that $33 doctor visit and then groceries we did kind of pre how much do we set aside for groceries we put $44 for groceries aside let's set this money aside because I would like to use that for October's groceries like maybe for our next grocery savings we will set that this here this is my first time doing a sort of end of the month recap while we start thinking about what we're saving for for the next month if you guys like this kind of video please let me know and let me know what all you would like to see in it in a monthly recap would you like to see like a sheet breakdown of past spending as well do you just want to see the unstuffing let me know what you're thinking I started talking with my youngest, so I'm not quite sure where I was, but let me know what all kind of things you would like to see in a monthly recap. For this $150 savings challenge, we are saving for a for costumes for the boys and for a family member's birthday. So we're gonna set this here. I'm kind of not sure how I wanna organize it right at this point, because all this money is basically saving for things that are coming up in October. I forgot to tell you guys this at the start. I meant to say this from the, get the beginning. So I've been getting questions from some of you guys that aren't sure how I'm using this. September is saving for October needs, so all this money is for things that are happening in October. So September is just the month we were saving for it. I'm trying to get one month ahead on everything that comes up in that month. So October, this binder's really going to be saving for November needs, right? Because this is the binder we're going to use in October to save for November things that are going to come up. I'm kind of organizing this like this because we're going to find out in real time together exactly how I organize this in between money. I might even go ahead and just put it all in the bank. That's probably what I should do because I will actually be spending this. I know how much I have pre-saved for each thing, which for me, the dangers of putting money in the bank is because I'm like, oh, I have $500 and then I just spend on whatever planner supplies I want or whatnot, you know, like I just throw it away somewhere. Well, if I already know that $150 is saved towards the family member's birthday present and the boy's costume, then I know what my budget is, right? If I know I've got $44 for groceries in there, then that's like, I can write all these things down. And actually, I guess that that's exactly what we're going to do, figuring this out together. So I think I will just go ahead and put all this money in the bank. Before I do, I'm going to write down exactly how much I have allotted in the bank for that money. And then I will continue to pull money for November needs so that it's not sitting there, right? I think the cash budget system works for a lot of us that have 
just a, a problem spending or a desire to spend outside of our needs, which don't we all do that? I mean, maybe we don't, but if I have $2,000 sitting in the bank, then I'm tempted to feel like, oh, I could take a vacation for a week. We can just go do this thing with that $2,000 and I don't really plan too much further past that. The monthly savings challenge. Now, this is where we can kind of chat a lot because I'm just going to be pulling all of this money from the monthly savings challenge. The $31 that was in this bigger pocket is for this $31 savings. And then behind each of these little cards, I do have more money. I did not get quite to the like $500 goal, but we can count together and see exactly how far I did get. But while I pull this amount, this is the point in the video where we have a chance to be a bit more chatty about just some things going on. Like I said, I did have an earache that threw me off a bit. The landlord finally responded about my security deposit. If you've been keeping up with the saga of how I became homeless and what's going on now, um, then you already know a lot of things basically to end or at least end for now the story we ended on the fact that she is not going to give me my one thousand dollar security deposit back her quoted reasons include a hundred and fifty dollars because i forgot to clean out the microwave literally that's a reason and that is the price the other thing is she took a picture of the backyard while we were still living there and she's saying that the yard was a mess but she took pictures of toys in the yard while we were there and it's a whole thing so not only is she not giving me my thousand dollar security deposit back for some really silly things like there was no damage to the house nothing outside of normal use like yes i did forget to clean out the microwave but She's ignoring the fact that she forced us to move out in less than 30 days because there was black water in the floors for a month and she refused to clean it. I am thinking about doing a whole series on basically how I became homeless and literally just sharing all of the proof texts and all of the things having to do with this landlord because one, I just really want to get it off my chest. Two, I think you guys could find it interesting and entertaining at the least <laughs> and I also feel like the revenue that comes from sharing the full story and the text and all the things might help me hire a lawyer because I do know for a thousand percent fact that the security deposit is due back to me. Everything that she cited of why she took that thousand dollars from me is all like literally a dirty microwave and there was toys in the backyard while we lived there. So I know I'm due that thousand dollars back. She actually said that the damage to the house because of the toys in the backyard and because of the dirty microwave totals $1,050 and like 67 cents or something. So she's actually saying that I still owe her $50 anyway. I'm saying that to say there's just so much to say to the story. And I know a lot of you that watch my channel all the time have already heard the full story. I, I don't know. I'm thinking about making the full story with text proof and all of the things into a like five part or like week long saga of the drama of the house just so I could get it all out share with you guys and I do feel like there's some red flags that she gave me along the way even at the very beginning that if I would have listened or noticed those red flags that she's inexperienced and she doesn't know what she's doing, then I would not have ended up in that situation. So I do think there's a helpful element to it, but also, I don't know, I just want to share with you guys and the revenue can help me hire a lawyer to definitely get back my security deposit. And I think the damages from lost work, from emotional stress of this whole situation, etc., and money I lost into the house during this whole thing and her forcing me to live in those situations in the in the environment that it was. Anyway, I feel like I'm due like five figures at this point and I would kind of, I'm at the point where I would just like to take it to court. So that was a run through recap of no, I didn't get the security deposit back. So she still has me stressed out. I have been away from the channel the last few days because I've been processing like, what do I do? She also, I responded to her email and we, I can share the details in a full video. And I basically told her she continued to be unprofessional. There is no reason that cleaning a microwave should cost $150 and so on. And then I expected that money back and uh, she's just ignored me. It's been two days now. She has not responded. I don't understand that lady at all. It's just a very confusing and weird situation. I have never had an unprofessional landlord until this point, but in this whole situation, I have learned that a lot of you have gone through similar things. I am so sorry. This is not like a learning experience that any of us should have to go through, but I do know that my situation is not unheard of. It's not uncommon for people to have 
just terrible landlords. So I'm sorry for everybody who can relate to the stress, who has gone through something very similar, but let me know in the comments if you would like to hear the full story, hear the text message, uh, read the text messages and the proof, and us just go through from day one all of the ways that this was a weird situation. I think if anything, it makes a great story at this point. Like I am owed so much money and stress and time from her, but the only thing I have out of it is a great story of what a terrible landlord situation this was. I would rather not. I would rather not have the great story, but it's all I have to share, so maybe we should. Maybe we should get into all of it. Better news, much better news. I have been getting taxes in order the last couple of days. Y'all, the tax situation is 1000% on me. I kept putting it off. I'm so overwhelmed. I found the most helpful lady though. If you have a small business, start Okay, here's what I did. I like reached out to some of my friends who have small businesses and I asked for recommendations. I was given a handful of recommendations. I looked around at the profiles of those few people and I picked the one that I felt like meshed well with me. And I met with her earlier today and y'all, I am so excited about my tax lady and my tax situation. I'm so ready to get it all organized. Oh, my camera cut us off, so I'm not sure where I was. Long story short, took me a really long time putting off taxes. I got an extension on 2022 and we're trying to figure out 2022 right now and next week, right? So like I did not allot this person a lot of time to help me, but I feel so good about her coming in to help me out because she seems very knowledgeable. She's very kind. I'm saying all this to say if you have a small business and tax is overwhelming to you as it is to all of us, probably, start calling around and see, get a free consultation, see how much they're going to charge you. And there's a good chance that somebody is willing and ready to help you and you're going to get along great with them. You know what I'm saying? So like, just do it. Just start working on your taxes. Don't do like I did. Don't wait for, don't get an extension, then wait till last minute because who knows how this is all going to land. I am saying this though to say I am finally getting an order, it in order and I can't wait to share with you guys how I'm organizing, how I'm going to handle taxes in the future. This is a budgeting channel so I know not everyone has a small business but I th still think it could be fun to dedicate a video maybe once a month or so to bit how I'm handling business things, right? And like business taxes. Monthly savings challenge, let's see how much I saved. This is for all kinds of things. This month we do have two doctor days in New Orleans. We are there all day long. We go to the aquarium on those days. We go to the zoo. We have a bunch of specialist appointments. My boys have a kidney and liver disease. So there are a bunch of like doctory things that we have to do, but then we make a fun day of it as well. And it tends to cost me a lot of money because I overcompensate trying to make the day fun because it starts out with a bunch of doctor stuff, right? So a lot of this money is going to go to those two doctor days. There's also a very small festival going on in my local area that we will attend, but I'm sure it's gonna cost maybe 20 or $30 in food. I don't have my list out, but I feel like there was a couple more things that I was saving for, and $500 isn't going to, I think, cover all of those things, especially when you consider the gas and mileage of driving to New Orleans, but this should get us a lot closer. Let's see what we saved for our money for our needs in October. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 210, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 300. We have 301, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. $309 to go towards all of these needs. Now, I thought of another thing while I was counting. My brain was multitasking. And we also have a camping trip coming up at the very end of the month. So, so there's a lot of things happening in October. Now, how are we going to handle this money? Okay, so like I said, I don't have my sheet out right now. But I do have it written down exactly what all this money is going for. Except possibly the groceries. We're going to leave the groceries aside. The rest of it though, I know what this money is going towards and we're going to go ahead and put it in the bank. Do we want to count it all together? <laughs> like I said, this is my first time doing a video like this. So let me know what kind of a flow you would like or like what you would like to see from me. But for now, we are going to go ahead and put it all together and count it because we are going to be bringing it to the bank. I am going to go ahead and put it in my bank account because I think the fact that 
all of this money is needed for October is going to help me from just blowing it because it's already all accounted for on a piece of paper. Like I know where it needs to go. It's also happening this month. Here's another thing that happens to me. If I do, if I put money in the bank and it's saving for Christmas, for example, I'm like, oh, that's in a few months. I can borrow some of that money and I'll put it back. And then you know what ends up happening, right? Like that money never makes it back. Christmas happens and you're all like, you're missing money for it. You don't, you don't have it back saved up. So I think the fact though, that all of this money is for needs that are happening in October is going to keep me much more accountable. And I'm not gonna be tempted to spend it as if it were something that I, that is going to be happening in like say December, cause it's the start of October right now. We are gonna go ahead and count this again. So sorry for double counting, but let's go ahead and count this. We're gonna, we do have again the $44 for groceries. 50, 150, 250, 350, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800, 800 and 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 900. Am I still on the right track? 910, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1000, 1010, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 1050, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 1000, $24, I think, y'all, okay. <laughs> I'll make sure it's right before I put it in the bank, but all of this money will be going to the bank. Before I put it in the bank, I will double like write down and make sure I know exactly what that money is for. And if you've made it this long in the video, thank you. You probably already know this because you are a true friend, but I will go ahead and repeat to these binders are new. They are a work in progress. So I think in the future, I am going to be adding some kind of a dashboard page, maybe on the back of the cover. Maybe I'll do a few inserts, but I would like to have some kind of a board where like right now, for example, we could write down, okay, 400 of that thousand is going to the car just to kind of recap things at the end of the month. So we know and remember what it's going towards. Also moving forward, we can look back on, like if I would have been doing this last year, for example, we could look back on October, 2022, and we would know about how much we spent and what we needed for some of these things. There would just be a clear, easy, one-stop shop, one-stop, like one place. What am I saying? There would be one place to kind of look back and see all of these purchases. So I will be adding something new to the October kit that's not in here, though I do still think these kits are fully functional, like they're fine, right? I could easily be writing this, this stuff here if I wanted to, but for now, this works. Now, I did want to talk about what is coming up in October. Although to be quite fair, this week has been just such a wild ride with the rent situation and just, <laughs> it's emotionally draining guys. I'm sorry to keep talking about it if you don't wanna talk about it, but here we are. It has been a wild ride just to be so manipulated and so like taken advantage of from that landlord. It's been a hot mess. I finally feel like, like I'm recovered, right? I feel okay, I know now where we stand with that whole situation. Anyway, yeah, saying that though to say, I wanted to be a little bit more prepared and share with you guys exactly what we're saving for in November. I don't have our Etsy check from this week pulled from the bank just yet. I'll probably come back tonight or tomorrow and stuff what we need to stuff in this. So keep an eye out for a video. I wanted to do more in this video with this October binder saving for November, but that's not gonna happen because I'm just, I am not actually prepared to share it with you guys. If you have not picked up October, like the binder we're gonna be working on for this month, this, all of the designs is a printable in my shop. It's going to be the October design, the little candy corns. I love candy corn and I think this is just so cute. So this is the design. You, it comes with rent, bills, subscriptions, healthcare, and groceries trackers. Then it comes with some blank trackers, a month ahead. Now the month ahead, you can save for 1,000, 2,000, and 4,000, I believe. So there's different 
one month ahead trackers. Actually, they're all in here. 1,000, 2,000, or 4,000. I'll likely be using the 1,000. It also comes with the $150 savings, a debt payment, a monthly savings challenge, and then the monthly savings challenge is the one that has all these like daily cards. So ideally, every day you're putting something in one of these spots, 15, you'd put $15, for example. I promise I will stop over explaining these monthly binders once we've had them for a little while, but I'm getting so many questions about them still. So if you haven't picked this up, October is a printable, and then I do sell the wallets. Message me on Etsy if you have any questions of how to purchase, but you can purchase this clear wallet with these divided inserts and with the just, you know, the typical, the regular inserts, the full page, and you can mix and match them how you need them, depending on like what style of inserts you want. I'd be happy to help you over on Etsy if you need it. And later today, I will, not today, who girl, don't get ahead of yourself. Later, I will be launching uh, November, and November is going to be a printable, and I'm going to be selling physical copies. Okay, pause. Let's take a sip of soda. Did I breathe during that entire like two minutes? I don't think so. The only other thing I did want to share with you guys is I'm giving you, if you made it to the end of this video, you are getting a quick snippet of something that is to come that is, it's completely designed and it's printed and I'm still just working on the cutting and actually putting things together. I wanted to give you show you quickly one of the designs i get the request all the time for more neutral designs for more for more like guy designs i hate to say guy designs because i love some of these more neutral designs as well but point being i will be selling these 50 envelope savings challenges and 100 envelope savings challenges now this is just the dashboard that will be inserted and laminated and the back of the 50 envelope savings challenge has the 50 envelope. It's going to be laminated so you can reuse it and then this is all going to be printed and shipped guys. So I wanted to give you a sneak peek because I'm only going to sell 10 of this design and then there's one more rainbow bright color stuff I'm going to design that I don't have to show you with you right now. But there's only going to be 10 of them launch of each design. I'll likely do a video tonight to show you guys, but if you're watching this video, I just want to give you the time to keep an eye out for it because once they are gone, they are gone. It is going to come printed and shipped to you with the clear envelope, with this laminated, and then with 50 of the cards with the divided tabs. If you choose the 100 envelope savings challenge, it's actually going to be two binders. So you will still have, it's going to come with two binders, one of the binders is going to come with cards 1 through 50 and you'll have the corresponding you know the 1 through 50 envelopes with 1 through 50 in the one binder it will come with a second binder and that second binder is going to have numbers 51 through 100 and it, all of the cards in that one, of course, are going to correspond 51 through 100. I think this is really fun. So you will have the choice between the 50 envelope savings challenge or the 100 envelope savings challenge. I will be later tonight launching that video though and launching the item live. So definitely keep an eye out if it's something you're interested in. I think the 50 envelope will likely sell for $34. And then if you add, if you want the 100 envelope, it's gonna be $45. I'm thinking something like that. So if you want the 100 envelope savings challenge, it's not gonna be double the price, right? It's just a little bit extra to cover shipping and the extra materials. So that was a little sneak peek. You're gonna get another video tonight with a more thorough walkthrough of the completed <laughs> binder but i wanted to give those of you who are actually watching these types of videos from me a sneak peek and give you a little bit of a prep to keep an eye out for it later tonight if you are interested so i think that is it for this cash stuffing i will be back later tonight as always i love you guys i appreciate you and i'll see you again soon Bye bye